Hello, welcome back to Learn Physics. So, here today we are starting with the question resistors in series. So, series connection and what? Once I think in electricity first part we discussed a little bit, isn't it? So, anyway, I will tell you once more what is series connection and all. Okay. All of you are liking my videos? Okay. Learn properly and uh, if you have any doubt in my videos, you can ask through your comment box. I will be replying. Okay? Fine. Today, resistors in series. Okay? What is meant by series connection? It is a type of connection. Okay? If resistors are connected in series, what will happen in our circuit? All those things we are studying here. Okay, so resistors in series. Series means many resistors we are considering. So this is how we will be representing resistor in a circuit diagram, circuit symbol. This is resistor. This is one resistor R1. Okay, so it has two ends. This is first end and this is second end. In the second end, I am connecting another resistor, R2. In that free end, the other end, I am connecting another resistor, R3. Like that is going on. That kind of connection is called as series connection. Clear now? One end of one apparatus is connected to the one end of the other apparatus. That is called a series connection. Now clear what is meant by series connection? Series connection means one end of one capacitor, one resistor will be connected to the other end of the, that is one of the other ends of other apparatus. Okay, so only one end will be connected together. Okay? So that is called So here means the free end will be connected in the next one. Like that it will go on if more resistors are there. That is resistor in series. This series connection if I want to give it as a closed circuit cell I will be connecting one or as, as battery also we can connect. Okay? Or cell also. Okay? Fine. Okay? Then close the circuit if that is ammeter is connected over here and so here it is negative. So it will, it will be negative and here it will be positive. And how the current will be flowing through the circuit from which end to which end from positive terminal to negative terminal. Okay, this is how current will be flowing through the circuit. In series connection. What will be the if many resistors are there in series connection? What will be the effective resistance? Effective resistance means all resistors together, how it will be reflecting in the circuit. How we can find out the effective resistance? Effective resistance. How we can find out the effective resistance of the circuit? Okay, so here current is flowing through it and it has current value is I. I is the current flowing through the circuit. In series connection, current will remain same. Current will be same for all the resistors. Okay, in series connection, current will remain same for all the resistors. So tell me what is the current passing through R1? I. What, do, what will be the current passing through R2? I. And what will be the current passing through R3? I. Okay. Same current will flow through the circuit. So in connection with, uh, see what is the relation connecting I and R? V equals I into R. So see we know I is remaining same for all the resistors, isn't it? But the resistance value at each and every point are changing. If I is same, but resistance is changing, then what will change here? 
Yes, potential difference will be changing. Understood? So, current will remain same throughout the circuit if the resistors are in series. Clear now? Current will remain same if the resistors are connected in series. Clear now? Okay, fine. Now, effective resistance. How we can find out the effective resistance in the circuit? See, here, let. Now, we are considering to we need to find out the potential difference. If I need to find out the potential difference, which device I can use for finding the potential difference? Potential difference device used to find out, used for finding potential differences, finding potential differences for the voltmeter. Voltmeter is a device which is used to find out, used to find out the potential difference. How we can find out with which device we will be finding out the potential difference? Is the voltmeter. How we can represent it in the circuit? Voltmeter is represented as V. Okay, voltmeter is represented as V, and it will be connected always in parallel with the circuit okay with the circuit always potential voltmeter is connected in parallel to the circuit so what is the device used for finding out the potential difference voltmeter is the device used to find out the potential difference and the representation circuit symbol is v inside a circle is o and it is always connected in parallel to the circuit. So parallel connection means above this. This is V. Okay, here it is positive and here it is negative. Because each and everywhere this potential difference will be changing. As in that sense R is changing. This is V again. Here also V. So it is positive, negative. So here it will be V1. Here it will be V2, here it will be V3. Because, so what we are getting from here? V1 we will be getting, this is V2 we will be getting, from here V3 we will be getting. Because for as resistance increase, resistance changing, current should remain the same, then what should change? Potential difference should change. So tell me, what is the total potential difference in the circuit? What is the total potential difference in the circuit? V equals V1 plus V2 plus V3. This potential plus this potential and plus this potential. So what is V1 here? What is the current? V formula is Ohm's law. Using Ohm's law, what is V? I into R. So what is the current flowing through R? First resistance R1. I into R1. So I into R1 plus V2. Here what is the current? I. What is the resistance? R2. So it is I R2 plus here V3. Here what is the current? I. What is the resistance? R3. I R3. So here I is common, right? So we can change it as V equals I into R1 plus R2 plus R3 or we can write it as I equals R into sum of all the resistors. That will be the effective resistance. I into Rs. Therefore, so here or we can write like this. See, what is it? V is the total potential difference. What will be the total potential? What is the total current flowing through the circuit? I is the total current. What is the total resist effective resistance in the circuit? We can represent it as Rs. So if I am representing effective resistance as Rs, I into Rs will be equal to I into R1 plus R2 plus R3. So I and I will get cancelled. Therefore Rs equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. Resistance in series will be equal to sum of resistors in the circuit. 
clear now? So this is the important formula for finding out the resistance in series connection. So how we can define, how we can find, derive the equation for resist, effective resistance in the circuit if resistors are connected in series. How we can define that? So the circuit diagram is like this. Okay. First we are connecting R1, R2, R3 in series. Okay. And connecting one cell or a battery you can connect depends and key and one ammeter you are connecting. Okay. Then to find out the potential difference we are using voltmeter in parallel with each resistors. Okay. So V1, V2, V3. Now we are going to find out the effective resistance. Effective resistance is represented as Rs. Resistors in series that is Rs. What is the total potential difference in the circuit? V equals total potential difference V equals V1 plus V2 plus V3. Okay. V1 what is V1? IR1 IR2 IR3. So I am taking it as common R1 plus R2 plus R3. What is V total potential difference? I into Rs. So I into R1 plus R2 plus R3. So Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. The effective resistance of the circuit if the resistors are connected in series is sum of the resistors of resistance of each resistors. Everything we should add. That will be the effective resistance in the circuit. So if more resistors are connected in series, then the resistance will increase or decrease? It will increase. Isn't it? So then the more resistors are there, then the amount of current flowing through the circuit also will be less because resistance is increasing. Okay. Now understood all of you, this derivation also important and diagram you should uh, read, you should read as well as write. That is very very important. All the derivations, please write down and draw. Okay? Then here on extra thing which we told us, which is a device used to find out the potential difference. What is the device? Voltmeter and what is the circuit symbol and how it is connecting. This is apart from this topic which we discussed. Clear now? All of you? Hope all of you understood all these things. Thank you.